Packaging is usually one of the last things anyone bothers to update. Usually what people do is they go to the last project they created, copy and cargo cult <laughs> over the thing sure. that worked and just keep right. using it. So right, if the right. last thing they did was set up tools with setup.py, I'm just creating a source distribution, a tar.gz file, whatever, I don't care. And then if they think about it, it's usually before they do a release. And then the yeah. last thing you want to do before a release is have bugs with your release process and have yeah. your packaging suddenly break on you because you tried to read a blog post or watch a video or something, screw up or right, whatever, right, and right. have it failing, like, ah, screw it. And then you roll back, go back to the old thing, and then you never want to touch it again. Right. So getting people to update can take a while. I mean, PyProject.toml is old in a way. It's years and years and years and years and years. Like we've had this, but okay. I mean, if you haven't updated your project, you probably don't have it anymore. Luckily, because of all the tools that picked it up and it's all the tutorials now and everything else. Um, yeah, yeah. We've definitely covered it a lot on Real Python and exactly. trying to make sure that, you know, I push it on the podcast as much as I can. Which is appreciated. So, yeah, yeah. It makes sense to me. You know, like if you're going to set up a project beyond just like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, pip freeze this. It's like, well, if you're going to really share this with other people, there's lots of other things you should be thinking about. And yeah, this exactly. is a really organized way to do it. 